Hello. Let's take a look at the invoicing side of Seed Code Complete. It's pretty straightforward and a great foundation for you to build from. So we're going to move over to the invoices section by grabbing the layout from our layout menu. And you can see that we have pretty simple information about the contact and project that might be related to the invoice, some information about their addresses, and of course we can hide this left hand status bar if we want to see more information about items, but I, I kind of like to keep this showing because it gives us a list of the items that are currently unpaid as well as total outstanding balance for those items. And of course we can click here to jump to any one of those unpaid invoices. Um, if you look over on the right hand side you'll see that we, we're tracking items. These could be products or services. Um, we have the amount of the item. This uh, blue here indicates that I've manually entered a price here instead of using the, uh, the regular price that's in the database. And we're taking care of tax and discounts and all that other stuff. Uh, and new to this version of Seed Code Complete, we're also recording how many payments have been made against the item. So that we have the total amount of payments, the invoice total, and then a balance. And it's that balance that gets added up over here to be the total outstanding balance for the company. Um, so let's take a look at one of these things. Um, let's move over to uh, the end here have an item here. So um, let's add a new line and I'll pick, um, we have obviously a table of invoiceable items, again products or services. I'm going to pick something here and I'm going to say that I want to sell three of these. When I tab out of that you'll see that this field turned orange and uh, the reason for that is that we're tracking inventory quantity here. So if I hover over this uh, orange number you'll see that we have uh, inventory on hand below the reorder level of 50 and it appears that we have 16 on hand which is okay. You know, I could go back up to uh, settings and check that out and adjust the inventory, but we're good right here. I'm just going to click update inventory and that's going to remove these three items from inventory. And then this goes uh, goes gray. Those familiar with uh, FileMaker's inventory example will kind of recognize this procedure. Um, we've modified this to work transactionally. It's, it's very simple, but a great way to kind of get inventory management into your solutions. Um, but there's a whole other way that uh, items get on here, and that's that we can bill uh, appointments as well. So let's move over to, over to the calendar and check that out. Um, so I'm going to select the calendar from our layout menu. And we'll see that today we have this uh, install due for SE. Uh, I'll click on it and take a look. So I'm supposed to go over there from 12 to 2 to install something. And let's say we've done that and we want to bill it. So I'm just going to move over to the invoice tab right here and uh, click new line. And I'll say uh, repair service say two hours and that's going to give us four and so we're we're recording all this stuff right here if this were taxable I could uh, put in a tax rate of like I don't know nine percent and it'd be calculating all this stuff for us and we can also record payments right here as well so let's say we have a, a payment she paid us a check check number one two three four and she paid all of four hundred dollars because I forgot to tell her about tax while I was still there and now here I am in the van and I realized that she still owes me uh, $36 um, and that invoice is still currently unpaid. So if I close, this still stays here on the uh, on the calendar, but if we click back, we can see that we've added a new a ninth invoice here. And if I move over there, well, there's our new invoice from SE. Here's the event that was billed and our repair service. And I can continue working with this invoice and, and manipulating it. So as you can see, it's a pretty basic invoicing system. We're not trying to do any accounting. There are no date aging reports here, though you could certainly add those. We've done the difficult work of linking the invoice to inventory items, to contacts, projects, and events on the calendar so that you can take that foundation and make the invoices look the way you want and build the reports you need. Uh, I hope you find it useful. Uh, download the demo of Seed Code Complete and check it out. Thanks.